Hey guys, hiya. It's um, obviously it's, uh, my name's David Breaker. Most of you pretty much know me by now. I'm from Breakthrough Life Coaching. Um, but the interesting thing is, I'm not here today to talk about that stuff. I'm actually here to talk about Universal Credit and ESA, the support that the government are getting set up for everyone. So, first off, just to make fully, fully sure you understand that um, essentially me and my partner Richard have been on Universal Credit for the last six months. Um, and there's a lot of negativity around benefits and whether you should claim it or not. But the current environment we're in, um, if your source of income has disappeared because of how your business is, then actually you need to be looking at setting up your universal credit. So just so you fully understand the situation, um, the reason why we claim it and why we've had to have support is in about the last two years, I've been having to work roughly 50 to 60 hour a week to support both me and Richard. Now, this isn't Richard's fault, but essentially, if you, you've probably hopefully met my partner Richard with a lot of business networking, but essentially, when he was younger, a jealous partner stabbed him in the chest and carved his heart out. He has extensive nerve damage, brain damage, and memory issues. And because of that, he has restrictions on his health. He's a very capable man, um, but there are days when he's bed bound and he can't do as much. And that's where for a long time we didn't claim it because we didn't want to claim it. There was a bit of pride there. We didn't think, and I'm sure all of you are in the same boat where you don't want to claim it because you're thinking, I don't want to be put into that area. But we've had to claim it. We've had to fight for a little bit of it. But actually the point is, certainly in the circumstances you're in now, you can claim it. So what is universal credit? So essentially universal credit is a new sort of benefit system which has been brought out in the last couple of years which has consolidated all the benefits into a single benefit. There's been a lot of negative press around it, about people being made vulnerable, not getting the full support, stuff like that. But actually, generally, the universal credit system works quite well. Um, what it has done is it's moved people to a monthly payment rather than every two weekly. So it gets people used to the normal mindset of, of work of getting paid monthly. Um, and not only that, what it has done as a system, it's designed around the fact that they keep track on your income, okay? And the more income you get, your benefit lowers. The less income you have, obviously, your, your, the amount of money they give you goes up and down. Um, this does work slightly differently for self-employed people, which I'll explain in a minute. But the idea is the government has set up people that are self-employed at the moment, that are essentially have their large source of income has disappeared. So this is why this is up, set up here. So to actually apply for uh, universal credit is actually quite simple. It's not as complicated as people think it is. You can do it over the phone, but actually the best and simplest way is to do it online, okay? So um, if you're unsure, there is actually a website, uh, you can see up on the screen now, which is uh, turned to us, it's actually a benefits calculator. Um, you put all the information in about your current circumstances and it will try to calculate if you are actually, you know, if you are due some form of support there. So if you're unsure, go to that link there, obviously go to turn to us benefit calculator, and have a look. So the important thing I will say now, it's very important when you set up your universal credit claim, is don't try to lie, don't try to mislead, don't try to withheld certain information uh, because you will get caught out. And sadly, there are a lot of people who are trying to do that and try to, talk, try to take advantage of the system. The system is there to help people. So, so be fair and look at it like that. So as you can see, as you go through the steps of setting it up, you check first if you're eligible, you go, actually, you, you make a claim online, and then they essentially, um, the idea is you would normally, they would check your identity online. Um, it's all done online now. The whole point of the universal credit system is you actually have a whole system online they would ask you to attend an interview but they have announced at the moment that all interviews in person have been suspended for now it will be done over online um, they have adjusted quite a few things considering the current environment um, the thing to understand how it works is um, once you get set up they you can actually apply for an advance on your first payment as you can see there now, when you apply for an advance on your first payment, you do have to pay it back. No interest. Uh, there's no interest on it over a certain time. Um, there has been discussions about moving the payment up quicker because it was normally five weeks. They are in discussions about moving it forward. Um, I will say, actually, I should have said this earlier. I will say this now very importantly, and I should have said it before. I am not an expert on the benefit system, right? Please don't think I am. 
Um, I'm just someone that has been through the system when I was 32 stone. I was on ESA, I was stuck on the benefit system there. And I'm going, obviously I've been through the, there, but not only that, I used to work for a company uh, that supported people on the benefit system to get them back into work. So I understand the system very well, but I'm not an expert, so don't take everything, <laughs> you know, thinking that I know absolutely everything. Um, so the idea is they will set it up so that you will get an agreement and you have to keep them updated online, what your change of circumstances are, um, and that's all done online. So the big question I get, uh, have a lot of is what actually is expected of you? So I've actually taken a screenshot here of how it looks online, what the actual process is there. So for self-employed people, it does work slightly differently to if you're unemployed or employed, because um, there are people that are employed working zero hour contracts or part-time that go on universal credit. So as if you are self-employed, it does work slightly differently. So every month, every sort of calendar period of a certain of, of, of a month, they will ask you to announce your earnings. They ask you to announce the amount of money you have going into the business. They ask you to announce the amount of expenses coming out. They then use this to assess actually how much you've earned in that period. Now, understandably, for a lot of you at the moment, that's going to be lower. Again, I would make sure that you're not misleading with the information here. You will get caught out. If, I know it sounds obvious, but people might not think about this. Make sure the information is correct, okay? Um, so once you see there, what they do do, which is quite good, to do to do, is you'll see that they have a to-do list and a journal. The to-do list, when you click on it, um, is it will give you a list of things, of tasks they want you to do. And they are generally quite simple, like report a change of circumstances, uh, what your commitments are. Now, this is gonna be changing in many ways for current, for current people that are going, moving from self-employed and going under this. Uh, with the ESA and everything like that, it's going to change slightly, but I wouldn't worry about it. The best thing for you to do now is sign up for it. Uh, you, see, you also notice there's a journal part where you can actually contact them online. Again, it's much better to contact them online so you've got a paper trail of what your questions are. So the way it works for a self-employed uh, person is once you've assigned for universal credit, and I do advise you, if you are in a current situation where you are worried that you are going to be paying your bills and actually paying your daily living that you need to do your rent, stuff like that, I would suggest you get online and apply as soon as you can. Okay, go online, apply. And what they will do is they try to assess very quickly whether you are actually gainfully self-employed or not gainfully self-employed. And essentially in the short term, what that means is, are you really self-employed and actually running the business? That's the question they need to know. Because there are people that have signed up saying I'm self-employed and they're not they don't really have a proper business. They're not, they don't have a business plan. They don't actually are, you know, having money coming in and out of a business. Um, so for most of you, that means you will be considered gainfully self-employed. And what they'll be looking at is not normally they do is they have this minimum income floor where they expect you to be earning a minimum amount from your business to support yourself. They have actually announced at the moment that they're actually going to, um, if you're staying at home at the moment or always out of the coronavirus, they're actually removing in that, they're not actually putting that minimum income floor in, which means obviously it should get more support. Um, so essentially, there isn't actually too much that you need to do what is, what is expected of you once you sign up for Universal Credit. You need to come up to date. Um, and obviously, as it says there, you notice if you're a company director and you've got PAYE, you still need to announce it and then claim that you've got you've scored you, you've earned nothing as a self-employed person it's all very self-explanatory on the website they go through it okay so essentially um that's kind of a quick snapshot of it it is quite a complicated system generally um if you're not used to it but the whole point is it's actually relatively simple once you start getting through the process they they're step by step so um is there, obviously, if you've got any questions, send them in, send them in now. I'll happily answer them. And bear in mind, you see, I've got a gift. That was, that was Carl. I listened to Carl. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if there's any questions about how it works, whether you should sign up, um, I would certainly ask them now. People were saying on the chat, very interesting. I think, as you quite rightly said at the beginning, so people can have a bit of pride around this. So mm -hmm. what might be a good idea, actually? to do is for you to share your socials, people to get in contact with you afterwards. Yeah. Uh, the reason being, they can, they can do it privately. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be happy to have a chat with you. Can you give us your social channels? 
Uh, yes. Um, so you've got my Facebook page is Breakthrough Life Coaching, or you can uh, just um, I go from my normal Facebook page, David Breaker. Same for LinkedIn is David Breaker. You'll find it there. Um, I have got Instagram, but I don't. Really <laughs> I have shared your um, Facebook page. Show your Facebook your personal page right? yeah. on the uh, page so you can go and find that as well so they can just contact you if you're happy for them to contact you there. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure that David's one of the people that's got plenty of plenty of time to, to, to get help anyone he can. So if you uh, have any questions about any of this stuff, and it obviously uh, you do also other stuff around helping people for their mental health and they need help with things. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If people have any other questions, David's a really good person to have a chat to about it. Um, Thank you very much. And I'm uh, also going to say that David's uh, already written a blog on yes. our new blog, which is togethernetworking.co.uk is the website. Um, and if you want to write some more, then go for it. Yeah, do you want to tell us about your blog? Actually, yeah, sure. Because I mean, I, I've gone for that really quick. I mean, it's just there, there is only so much to talk about the system. But um, so the blog, it's all about stress and healthy eating. Um, in actual fact, on discussions with Froland that we'd be looking at maybe doing. Um, a healthy eating uh, well, webinar well. for you guys um, because my real passion really is about healthy eating um, because of the man I used to be you know having used to be 32 stone but um, yeah it's the fact that we're in quite stressful times I don't think we can deny that actually at yeah. all um, and that's one of the reasons why I think that people need to be mindful of that you know if they are a bit concerned about their pride rightly so when it comes to universal credit Message, send me send me a private message. I'm happy to um, to answer any questions as best I can. Obviously, bear in mind I'm not an expert, yeah. but I have got a lot of experience of it. 